Martín. Welcome back, coders, to another quick video. Um, hope you guys are all having a great night, uh, morning, day, whatever it is for you guys. Um, I wanted to bring you kind of a, a fun video, one one that uh, I hadn't covered, like, like a game type that I haven't covered yet on the channel. Um, today we're going to be checking out, and I think you guys have guessed based upon the footage behind you, uh, behind me, is... Uh, we're going to be checking out the game called Lawn Mowing Simulator. I don't know if you guys were paying attention to one of the more recent Xbox like uh, little video presentations of their kind of upcoming games, but one of the more unique announcements they made was that there's going to be a full-on simulator game based upon mowing the lawn. Now, this isn't just any mowing the lawn. We're talking riding lawn mowers with pure complete and awesome name brands and everything like that um and i got a chance to go hands-on with a very early alpha access version of this game um now i want to start this video off by saying because this is an early early alpha i wouldn't expect there to be a ton of polish i wouldn't expect necessarily a lot of the things to be in place that need to be in place but um i did come away pretty pleasantly surprised by what this is uh, i went in kind of as a joke like oh my god we're gonna mow lawns for fun in video game form and came away with like well i can see the audience for this i can see why this would be a great get for xbox uh in having just in general um, kind of a different genre. I know that farming simulator has become a huge thing. There's there's bus simulator, there's train simulator, there's all these different simulators that people really get into. And I gotta say, lawn mowing simulator was one of the weirder ones, the weirder concepts that I've seen. Uh, ones that like, it's just a, it's an occupation that people wouldn't normally look at as like sexy, but it's something that maybe you as an individual would never get a chance to do yourself. Maybe you never get a lawn that's that big where you have to actually use a riding lawnmower. I've, I've had one in the past. It's super fun. So it was kind of a, a throwback and it felt kind of cool to go back to it. Now, we'll talk a little bit about some of the things in this game uh, that I'm already seeing and some of the promise. Um, but this kind of game is the perfect game where you can throw it on in the background. Uh, Put your, uh, put your music on in the background and just zen out or uh, maybe listen to a podcast or watch a television show that you uh, kind of know how to zone out with. Anything like that. This is a game that's not going to require a ton and ton of energy and, and precision, or like not precision, but uh, effort uh, to focus. But it may be one of those things that where you become meticulously obsessed with it. I could really see that happening. Uh, a couple things that I saw in there that were pretty promising, uh, just to indicate like there's some longevity in this game, something you're not going to just pick up once and, and drop just because it's uh, you know cool or you see it on Game Pass. And again, I don't know if this is coming to Game Pass, but that would be pretty cool. It'd be a perfect experience for Game Pass, something you, you maybe wouldn't normally touch, but you'll give it a chance because it's part of that subscription. But one of the things that I saw in there that really gives me a hope in the longevity of the game is that there's different missions and there's different uh lawnmowers and stuff like that and they're all real to life uh they have these like really meticulously detailed like mansions and and different environments like one of them was just this back back grass area at this uh, warehouse the next one that i played uh which you're seeing right here is a like a like a huge yard on this very nice, well manicured, uh, like mansion. And the difference between those two areas is that one has a lot of like manicured touches, you know, some flowers, trees, planters you have to navigate around. So it's not as straightforward as just like, oh, I'm gonna cut down all this grass. Um, so you kind of have to be really careful. And then you're also judged based upon the percentage that you mow. Now, one thing I will say. I found myself a little frustrated with at the end is it gives you a percentage and I was at like 97, 98%. Um, and if you watch to the end, you'll see that and stuff like that. But uh, it, I just couldn't find that last little bit that I missed because I wasn't perfect at it. I was getting used to the controls and, and honestly, I'm pretty shit at uh, <laughs> mowing lawns apparently. Um, and so that was one thing that I was, I wish that there was like a way to like quit and turn in and just be like, hey, I'm just going to take a lower cut uh, for that so you don't have to continue to try. Um, but this is one of those games that I could definitely see myself quick resuming and just bouncing back and forth between this and other games just because I want to zen out and take some, some stress out of my life. Um, 
a couple positives. The graphics are actually pretty solid. Uh, they're not for, it's not full 4K, I can tell you that. It's definitely a variable resolution or maybe a lower resolution for the beta, the alpha. Uh, but again, I expect polish to come. The anti-aliasing leaves a little bit to be desired, especially around the grass. But I will say the grass is all three dimensional. So every blade of grass is shown. And since that's, it's a game about mowing grass and mowing different levels of grass, I think that was super important that they nailed that. The models of the characters and the lawnmowers is obviously great. Uh, in general, it's a very pleasing game. It feels like an Unreal Engine 4 type game uh, where they have a lot of really quality uh, lighting effects and stuff like that. Um, but this isn't going to be, at least so far from what I've seen, it's not going to be the game that's going to be like, oh my god, knock your socks off realism. It is just one of those things where it's going to be good enough that you're going to enjoy what you're seeing and you're not going to be upset by the graphics at all. Sound-wise... It's a lawnmower. I'm not going to say I'm an expert on what lawnmowers sound like and what specific brands sound like, but if you are, maybe you'll nitpick this. I will say overall I felt like it was a little monotonous, but that's exactly what it's for. Um, there is some nuance to the sound in that you can hear uh, kind of like the different levels of the engine revving. You can tell when you're mowing too much grass without, uh, without easing up on the throttle and stuff like that. Um, all that's available to you. I did wish there was a little bit more rumble feedback in some of these areas. Early on, when you first start up the engine, it's like really strong, and then it just kind of disappears. It's like they forgot to implement some of the rumble features, but that may be there by launch, so I'm not cutting anything against it. So far, it is so much better of an experience than I think I was willing to give it credit for. So I highly recommend you check this out when it becomes available. Keep an eye out for Lawn Mowing Simulator if it's something you just want to zen out to, um, and you're looking for that kind of like podcast game or, or TV show game that you, you put on uh, while you're watching or listening to one of those podcasts or entertainment pieces. I think it's perfect for you. Anyway, this has uh, been uh, Keith over at Game Code. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to like the video uh, if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. We're close to 1,000 subscribers it would be incredible if we could get there we'll do a 24-hour stream um yeah and as always stay classy coders